Peppino really needed to close up his pizzeria for the night. It felt like ages since he got a break from everything. Today in particular was a stressful bout, so much so that it was a wonder he could even feel his body at all, let alone his legs. He sighed as he locked the door, hoping that he could go home and just flop onto bed and let his subconscious drift to better feeling sue wwwwwah. It was that shithead again. Come to think of it, Peppino never had a solid grasp on how he felt about the noise. And that wasn't even getting into how big of a heart the chef had, despite everything. He just made the noise wanna hop right into his arms and cover his face in previously unnoticeable lipstick marks. You again, eh? Peppino tried to feign annoyance, which he did feel to some degree, but obviously not to the usual degree. Who else? Pizza man. Came tea, stopped by and, ah, uh, I dunno, congratulate char on the tower thingy. Dot. That's some impressive shit I could only dream of. Peppino was surprised by the noise's comment. Was he in that much of a deranged state that the motherfucking noise could aspire to accomplish such feats? The thought of it made him shudder. Nevertheless, he could only muster a nervous, thank you, as a response. Hey, it's no biggie. Maybe I ought to give you a bit of a gift tonight. Just feels right, you know. Peppino mostly thought about the noise's usual antics. A noise bomb, a pipe bomb, a bomb bomb, any bomb. The noise really liked bombs. It could also be a revolver, a minigun, anything that the noise considered funny. He was understandably on edge, which the noise was quick to notice. Hey, ah, uh, it ain't gonna wind up dealing your property damage, so don't worry. You're a serious, aren't you? Once in a blue moon, I know. But trust me, buddy, you're gonna like what I give ya. The duo headed towards the remains of the pizza tower, conspicuously arranged. Courtesy of Jerome, to form a hideout. Once they arrived, Peppino asked, so what's the deal? The noise responded with what he'd been waiting to do since he shortened his public name. He gave the chef a big ol' kiss on the lips, gripping onto the portly man's shoulders. Peppino was caught off guard by this sudden maneuver, but oddly enough, he enjoyed it. Soon enough, they were embracing each other as they kissed and just took in the warm emotions of the moment. There was a part of Peppino that thought it didn't feel right since they duked it out more times than he could count by memory. There was a part of the noise that thought it didn't feel right since Peppino was a mess of a man. Both of these parts were shrugged off as the duo pulled away from the kiss. What was a that for? Buddy, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. Wait, but what about a Nawazette? Does she know? Course she does. I told her, I was like, hey sugar tits I'm gonna go fuck around with that Peppino guy is that alright with ya? And she was all like, yes honey don't you worry I think he's hot too. The noise attempted a more nasally voice to imitate his girlfriend, so yeah, she's cool with it. Trust me. Thankfully, this was not a lie in the slightest, the only thing missing was the part where Nawazette added that she wished she could join him, but that's a different story for another time. Peppino was surprised that even Nawazette, allegedly, called him attractive. He thought he was just a guy for the longest time, and heck, he hadn't been in a romantic relationship since his years in culinary school, and yet, this just felt right. Maybe the idea of dating the noise wasn't so scary after all. Oh yeah, why Vana know my real name? The one that ain't what everyone calls me. Well, it can't be as bad as Peppy, it's Theodore. Peppino was right. It wasn't as bad as his own name. He just chuckled and replied, well, that's a kinda cute for a name. Makes you sound like a small man who likes biting people's fingers but it never hurts does that even make a sense? 100% Peppino. Makes sense. The noise just rested his head on Peppino's shoulder as they gazed at the stars. Never really noticed how pretty those things are. It's hard to appreciate the little things in life when you got to do so much in a day. Hey, at least now we got time to just look at M now. Together, maybe we can try to find the Orion or the, the Scorpio. They look dumb, that's what I like. 